ஸ்ரீவருப்போ நம ஹரி ஓம் ஓம் சகனாவது சகனோ சக வீரியங்கரவாவை தேஜஸ்வினாவதீதமஸ்துமாவிஷாவை ஓம் சாந்தி 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 அதுவா சோ தேர் இஸ் அனதர் இன்டர்பிரேஷன் ஃபார் திஸ் ஸ்லோகா தேஹின ஏகசேவ தவ யதா கிரமேன தேக அவஸ்தா உற்பத்தி வினாசையோ நித்தியாத்தாயுகபத்வாத்தியோ Like there are different states in this very body, waking, dream, deep sleep state, or you can also count Kaumara, Yavana, etc. all these different states, but still, though there are these different states, you don't change, because you are eternal. Like you are eternal, but because you are eternal, you, there is no change in all these, uh, because of all these different states. Similarly, Yugapata Sarva Deha Antra Prapti Rapi Tava Ekaseva Vibhutva, Tava Ekaseva Vibhutva. because you are all pervading you are the one who is associated with all the embodiments all the bodies madhya parimanatve saavayatvena nityatva yogat see if we accept this self like the the jainas accept this if we accept the self to be of the size of body madhya parinama means mediocre size mediocre size means medium size means of the size of the body then that means a there is transformation in a elephant body it will be big it will shrink to human body and it will shrink further when it is a in a ant's body or if it is not going to shrink then there is going the, the the self is going to overflow from the ant's body which will kill the self will kill ant's body so these kind of troubles will be there therefore we say madhyam avyavarimanatva savayatve nityat therefore you have to say no 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 it will not uh, be like that it will shrink like or it will expand according to the body it enters like gas if you say then saavayatvena nityatva yoga because it has if you say gas gas means it has different particles when you condense it it becomes a liquid when you further condense it it becomes a solid similarly because it has parts it becomes non eternal Mm. that which undergoes change that which has parts is a non eternal mm. anutve so therefore you say no no the self is not medium sized it is a of the size of atom then there is another problem sakala deha vyapi sukha sukha adi anuplabdhi prasanga see you are going to experience if you are entering a room and you you have uh, unknowingly you have stepped upon a nail and uh, you are at the same time you hit your head on the top surface then you are going to face two kinds of problem one the pain in the leg and the pain in the head these two pains you cannot experience at the same time because your atom is small whether it goes to the leg or it goes to the head or let us say you are standing waist deep in ganga ganges water it's so hot your top po- uh, portion of your body is burning because of the sun and uh, the bottom portion of the body is a uh, feeling cold because of the ganges water now two different temperatures your body cannot uh, understand your self cannot understand so therefore this kind of troubles will have if the if you accept uh, uh, atma to be of the size of atom vibhutve nishchite sarvatra drushta karyatvat sarva shareereshu ekaiva atma tomiti nishchito artha if we accept the uh, <coughs> vibhutva vibhutve nishchite if you have established that this atma is all pervading if it is concluded then sarvatra drushta karyatva because in all these places it is all only everything which you see is only an effect of self or everything is only an effect of seeing drushti shtivada when you see the object exist therefore drushta karyatva sarva shareereshu eka eva atma tomiti nishito artha then you can understand in all the bodies you are the only self this idea this clarity you will gain 
तत्र एवं सति वध्य घातक भेद कल्पनाया कल्पनया तुम अचीरान अधिरत्वाद मुश्यसी सी इन दिस सिचुएशन वध्य घातक भेद कल्पनया बिकॉज ऑफ द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ ड्यूअलिटी बिकॉज ऑफ द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सुपर इंपोर्शन ऑफ दिस ड्यूअलिटी दैट आई एम द डिस्ट्रॉयर एंड दे आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्ट्रॉयड Adhya means destroyed. Ghataka means destroyer. Because of the duality, superimposed duality of destroyer and destroyed, Tum Adhiratva, you have become weak. Therefore, Muhyasi, you become deluded. You are deluded. Therefore, you are deluded. But, Dhirastu, in the case of the person with the valor, what will he do? Vidwa, this knowledgeable one, this learned one, na muhyati, he will not get confused. He will not become deluded. Why? Aham esha hanta ete mama badvadhyya iti bheda drashna bhava because he does not see the duality of I am killer of these people and these people get killed because of me. This kind of duality he does not see. तथा च विवाद गोचरा पन्ना हा सर्वे देहा हा ये कब भक्तर का हा देहत्वाद देहवत इति दिस इज़ दी सिलोगिसम ही सेस विवाद गोचरा पन्ना हा दी टॉपिक ऑफ़ डिस्कशन व्हिच इज़ सर्वे देहा हा ये कब भक्तर का ऑल दी बॉडीज़ देर इज़ फॉर ऑल दी बॉडीज़ देर इज़ ओनली वन एक्सपीरियंस व्हाई देहत्� like a dehavat, like your body. In this way, we can bring this syllogism. Shruti Rapi. The Shruti also says this. Eko devaha sarabhuteshu gudaha sarvapyabhi sarabhutantra atma ityari. There is only one self. Eko devaha, there is only one self. Sarabhuteshu gudaha, who is hidden in every individual body. Sarabhuteshu in every individual creature. Sarvavyapi, he is all-pervading Sarvabhutantra Atma. He is the indweller in all the creation. Ityadi, in this way, Shvetatara Upanishad also says very clearly, Etena, with all this, Yadahur, Deha Matra Atma Iti Charvakaha, Indriyani, Manaha, Pranas Chetita Dekadeshan. Like these people, Charvakas, who say that there is only one self, and that self is this body. Who accept body to be self? They. And in the Charvaka group itself, there are some people who accept the sense organs to be self. Some people accept the mind to be self. Some people accept the prana, vital air to be self. All them are negated. All of them are negated. Not just that. Kshanikam vijnanam iti saugataha. Saugatas. Saugata means Buddha. Buddha's people, the follower of Buddha, what they accept as Kshanikam vijnanam. This is a Self to be knowledge and the self to be woman tree. Ale vijnana they call. The knowledge that takes place in the intellect. That's the knowledge they are talking about. Deha atrikta hai. Shiro deha parimana iti digambra. Digambra is the jainas. There are two kinds of jainas. One is digambra, other is shvetambra. Shvetambra means one who wear white dress. Shveta, white dress. Ambra means one who wear. So, one who uh, dress. So, one who wear white dress is Shvetambra. One who does not wear any dress, any, nada, nothing, they are Digambra. <coughs> so, he says, uh, Digambra. Uh, Madhya Parimanasya. So, what do, they, what do those Digambra accept? Uh? They accept uh, there is one self which is different from the body and uh, it is of the size of the body. They accept the self to be different from the body. But the problem is they accept the self to be of the size of the body. Meaning uh, it will shrink and it will expand. And uh, there are other problems. They, though they accept rebirth, uh, they will not accept uh, a birth. Uh, uh, you, you will take a birth which of lower cadre in the next. No. Once you are born as a human being, you will not be born as a dog or cat or elephant. No. You will be another human being, you will be better human being, you will be better human being, you will be bettering yourself. And uh, going above, high, above, 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 above and above is uh, their liberation. They, they are called, the people who go above, they are called Tirthankaras. These Tirthankara who travel high, I don't know where. So, that is uh, the one who started first uh, will reach higher portion. So that kind of situations are there in that, confusions are there in that philosophy. Madhya Parimanasya, 
ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಅಣುಪಪತ್ತೆ ನಿತ್ಯೋ ಅಣುರುತಿ ಏಕದೇಶನ ಸಿ ಮಧ್ಯ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಸೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಸೈಜ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಅನುವೃತಿ ಏಕದೇಶ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ತತ್ ಸರು ಅಪಾಕೃತಂ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನೆಗೆಟರ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ವಿಭುತ್ವ ಸ್ಥಾಪನಾ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಶಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ನಾನು ಆತ್ಮನೋ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ವಿಭುತ್ವೇ ಚಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆತ್ಮನೋ ವಿಭುತ್ವೇ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವೇ ಚ ನ ವಿವಾಮ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಎಟರ್ನಲಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದೇಹ ಪ್ರತಿ ದೇಹಂ ಏಕತ್ವಂ ತು ನ ಸಹ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತಸಾಹಿ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಇಚ್ಛಾ ದ್ವೇಷ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಧಾವನಾಖ್ಯ ನವ ವಿಶೇಷ ಗುಣ ಗುಣವಂತ ಪ್ರತಿ ದೇಹ ಭಿನ್ನ ನಿತ್ಯ ವಿಭವಶ್ಚ ಆತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮನ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ಮನೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ವಿ ವಿ ಲಾಜಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಇಸ್ ತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ನಯಕ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ so this by philosophically they don't differ but uh, in in some etymological understanding uh, in presenting some things they differ that's all so buddhi sukha dukha etc these nine buddhi sukha intellect happiness sorrow uh, desire hatred effort dharma adharma and bhavana these nine are accepted to be the attributes of self remember this these nine are accepted to be attributes of self gunavantah vishesha gun this this is special attributes these special attributes exist only in the self this is what they accept and but not just that pratideham binnah for each one they have their individual self but you how how do you manage it is it of size of atom or medium no nityaha vibhavascha it is eternal and it is all pervading we don't have any complications accepting that self is eternal self is all pervasive but it is different from each body if different for each body how can that all pervasive self many cells be attached to my own body sense of complex there they say there is a connection which takes place because of which there will be no confusion even though the self is associated with other bodies it will not get confused with their experiences as yours so that is how they manage iti manyante if you can accept one self and manage all the different experiences why cannot i accept multiple selves and manage all these differences that is what they ask now say imam eva cha paksham tarkika mimamsa kadayopi pratpati vannah this very choice these people other people the logicians the nayayakas or the mimamsakas the karma kandins they also accept sankhyastu vipratti pratimanah adhya api atmano gunavatve pratideham bedaye na vipratti bandyante anyatha sukha dukha adi sankara prasangat sankhyastu vipratti panna vipratti pratimanah api sankhya do they differ little bit but still atmano gunavatve pratideham bedecha na vipratti pratimanah they don't contradict in this stay in, in in two things one atma ac- accepting atma to have attributes and atma to be different from each body different for each body they accept atma to be experience or not doer but experience and uh, for each their own atma these people are called as uh, nana jeeva vadis people who accept uh, multiple jeevas the vedantins we are referred to as a ekajeevadi here in this in this book especially 
in other places we do accept nana jeevada meaning accepting multiple jeevas for the sake of dull and mediocre students disciples <coughs> but this book in the beginning itself i said this book is not shravana this book is manana book this book is for reflection therefore it's a little advanced text therefore in this he is introducing and he is only stay, uh, staying with uh, this eka jeevada and ajatavada nothing else so therefore sankyans they don't uh, have any trouble in accepting multiple jeevas and uh, the attributes for ji this this the self anyatha sugud khali chandra prasanga if you don't accept multiple atmas and the experience are there then there will be mix up of happiness and sorrow my happiness and sorrow will be confused with your happiness and sorrow therefore the self should be multiple that is in that thing they are very clear tathacha bhishmaadi bhinnasya mam nityatve vibhukve api sugudukhaadi yogitvaad bhishmaadi bandhu deha vichchede sukha biyoge yogah dukha sanyogascha syaditi shoka mahu nanuchitavuti see therefore bhishmaadi bhinnasya mam i who am different from bhishma etc for me nityatve vibhukve api do i am eternal and i am all pervading still sukha dukha adi yogitva i am associated with uh, happiness sorrow etc without fail how bishma adi bandhu hetu bandhu deha vichchede because of destroying uh, the bishma etc who are my relatives uh, what happens uh, sukha biyoga my happiness is lost and dukha sanyoga i am gaining uh, this sorrow therefore shoka moho uchitau iti na anuchito iti therefore this sorrow and this delusion which i am undergoing is not wrong it's nothing wrong in that it's normal thing iti arjuna abhiprayo mashinkya doubting this kind of idea in arjuna linga sharira vivekaya aha to give a clarity on what this subtle body is nature of this body sense organ com this this self linga sharira this self in the, the subtle body he is giving a he is explaining this matras parashastu linga deha means sukshma sharira linga deha is subtle body okay matras parashastu kaunteya shitoshna sukha dukha daha agama payino nitya tanti tikshastu bharata see linga sharira if you understand what linga sharira is and what its experiences you will not be confused it with the karana uh the causal self causal self mean which is the substratum for everything so people have the confusion here whatever experiences are taking place in the subtle body they superimpose because of the confusion caused by the causal body they sub- superimpose everything in the self which is the substratum because of the confusion caused by the causal body they superimpose whatever takes place for the subtle body as a taking place for this self they accept it all all they accept all those experiences are taking place for self because of a, the causal body which is ignorance instead of accepting it to be for the subtle body that is why he is explaining that matras parshastu kaunteya he kunti putra matras parshastu these are all experience of the sense organs shitoshna shukda what are these shita ushna this heat cold sukha dukha this happiness sorrow all these etc are only the experience of sense organs agma painan they are not eternal they are something which come and go agama apayina means something which come and go they are temporary anitya therefore they are temporary because they come and go they are temporary because they have creation and destruction they are temporary tan titikshasu bharata therefore just for bear it titikshasva just for bear it there is no other way hey bharata in this way he is he is using to locate <coughs> me ante ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ 
means indriyas, the sense organs, only through sense organs you measure the objects. Dhasa, sparshaha, vishyaha. Matra, sparsha, matra is defined. No? Sparsha, sparsha means vishyaha, the objects of sense organs. Sambandhaha, tattad, vishyakara, antakkarana, parinamava. See, association with the sense organs, uh, the association of the sense organ with the sense object, matra, sparsha, or the as the transmission of the mind into the object of sense organ see the second thing antakkarana parinama that is what i am trying to explain as a transmission of the object of sense organ see in vedanta since in tarka they what do they say when the sense organ and sense object meet the knowledge takes place that is how they accept but in vedanta how the knowledge of object takes place through that perception it takes place like this when the mind transforms itself into vritti thought function it travels through the sense organ and it approaches the sense object okay and after that after removing the ignorance from that it becomes it engulfs that object it becomes it transforms the thought function transforms itself into that object the form of the object then then the object transformation and the mind is one and the same level when the object and the mind is one and the same level then the knowledge of object takes place meaning when the mind completely transforms itself into the object of knowledge then the knowledge takes place of that object that is why he says antakkarana parinamava you can accept that as it as the transformation of thought function into the form of object the agama payana they are they are agama pais they are something which are, are transitory how utpatti vinashvataha what does that mean agama payana means agama means utpatti apai means vinasha they come and the go means they are created and they are destroyed antakkarana jeeva shidoshnaadi dwara sukadakha natu nityasya vivoho atmanah tasya nirgunatvat nirvikaratva cha so all these transmission are taking place only in the inner organ antakarna this sukha dukha etc they only give it to this mind not to the self because self is all pervading self is eternal so and self is nirgunatvat nirvikaratva self is something which is nirguna attributeless and self is nirvikara transmissionless the uh, mind is that which has uh, attributes and transmission so only for that mind uh, these experiences take place not for the self which does not undergo any transmission or uh, any change so now uh, does not have any attributes that mind for that it cannot happen nahi nityasya anityatva dharma ashayatam sambhuti as we saw earlier the 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 absence cannot be an attribute of existence or existence cannot be an attribute of absence in another way absence cannot be loci of existence or existence cannot be a locus for absence which way similarly here he says nityasya anitya dharma ashrayatam na sambhavati na hi sambhavati definitely the eternal cannot have it itself as a substratum for the non eternal eternal cannot be substratum for non eternal nor non eternal can be substratum for eternal both are cannot be possible therefore dharma dharmino ho abhedat and another thing is important this is vedantic vedantic idea dharma dharmi nona bhaga we accept the dharmi and dharma the attributed and the attribute both to be non dual attributed and attributes are not different they are one and the same that is how we accept in vedanta they are not different they are one same they are not they are not different because we don't accept any duality in any place so there is no duality of attributed and attribute and that is why we say shakti shakti mudora bhedat the power and the wielder of power are not different fire and its power of uh, effulgence and heat is not different from the fire itself so here therefore sambandhan tranupatte he we cannot bring in any other relationship here there is no possibility because there is nothing is other than self therefore sakshyasya sakshit 
ಧರ್ಮತ್ವ ಅನುಪತ್ತೇಶ್ಚ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ದಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ so the at uh, objects the attributes cannot become the objects cannot become the attribute of a witness nor can the at the objects become the witness itself it cannot gain the state of witness therefore taduktam this is what is said na desya vikriyam dukhi sakshita ka vikarina ಧೀವಿಕ್ರಿಯ ಸಹಸ್ರಾಣಾಂ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯತೋ ಅಹಂ ಅವಿಕ್ರಿಯ ಧೀವಿಕ್ರಿಯ ಸಹಸ್ರಾಣ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯತ ಐ ಎಂ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಐ ಎಂ ದಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಅತಃ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯತ ಐ ಎಂ ದಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಹಂ ಅವಿಕ್ರಿಯ ಐ ಎಂ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮೇಷನ್ ನ ತೇ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ವಿಕ್ರಿಯ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದುಃಖಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ ದುಃಖಿ ಬೀಂಗ್ ದುಃಖಿ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ದೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ನೋ 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 ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದುಃಖಿ or being a vikari transmission for this sakshi so when that this this itself see without undergoing any transmission without undergoing any transmission how can the self be dukhi or be this vikari when itself these thing itself cannot happen how can it be sakshi sakshi means it's a state of a being witness how can something which does not have any attribute be in the state of witness it is only with respect to the objects of the things that is why it says the vikriya sahasranam sakshi it is only the witness for all the intellect all the thought functions of the intellect meaning it's just a, a namesake that's all accepting it up to be a sakshi is only namesake ತಥಾ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖಾದಿ ಆಶ್ರೀಭೂತ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಭೇದ ಸರ್ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾಪತ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ದಿ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಟು ಬಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದೀಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸರ್ವ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀ what is jiva when we explain jiva antakarna pratibimbita chaitanyam we said antakarna avachana chaitanyam or antakarna see there are three things one is the consciousness associated with the inner organ or the consciousness reflected in the inner organ this is first is avacharavada the second is bimb pratibimbada third is avasavada the conscious substratum which is the the, uh, the substratum consciousness plus the mind plus the reflected consciousness all these three are called jiva which are they will take simple the substratum the, the consciousness reflected upon the inner organ inner organ may be different like a simple example the, there is moon or sun it gets reflected upon different water bodies like water body in pot jar uh river uh pond etc when the water is destroyed when you break the pot or when the water is destroyed when it dries up in pond etc what happens uh, that reflection which you see is a uh, merged we say it gets merged with the original nothing happens really but we say it merges in the original similarly here also this self uh, getting reflected upon all the antakarana therefore all these different activities as though takes place for this jiva nirvikarasya sarva avahasakasya atmano bhede manam 
न अस्ति बिकॉज देर कैन नॉट बी एनी ड्यूअलिटी ऑफ सेल्फ मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ सेल्फ बिकॉज देर इज नो प्रूफ फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ सेल्फ विच फॉर विच सेल्फ विच द सेल्फ विच इज निर्विकार विच इज नॉफ एंड एनी ट्रांसमिशन एंड द सेल्फ विच इज इल्यूमिनिंग एवरी फॉर दट सेल्फ देर इज नो प्रूफ दट इट इज अ मल्टीपल जिशियन अंड वेदांति विभोत अक्षत्व से तत्र समाय कारणत्वम समाय कारणत्व से एव अभ्येत तत्वाद तरेव कल्पित मुचितम न तो समाय कारणांतर आनुपस्थितो निवितक्त्व मात्रम कि वन देर इस आप्जन्स ऑफ समाय कारणा यू शुड नॉट एक्सेप्ट निवित्त कारणा निवित्त कारणा में इंस्ट्रूमेंटल कॉस यू शुड नॉट कम एक्सेप्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंटल कॉस इन द triggering cause no, not instrument cause triggering cause nimitta karana means triggering cause <laughs> we'll just say instrumental cause also so do you cannot accept uh, some triggering cause or instrumental cause uh, in the case of uh, absence of samaya karana what is samaya karana samaya karana is uh, that inseparable cause in the absence of some inseparable cause uh, you should not accept uh, some triggering cause some instrumental cause therefore because if things can be managed with the sir uh, imagination of uh, this inseparable cause why do you have to accept some other cause he says tatha uh, cha and not just that uh, this is logically i am speaking uh, but again kama sankalpa vityadi shruti bhi shruti hi etat sarvam mana eva iti kamyaadi sarva vikar upadanatvam abheda nirdeshat manasah saha and The shruti also very clearly establishes samaya karana inseparable cause. The shruti also very clearly says kama sankalpa all these desire hatred all these things are only mind. Kama sankalpa which gets ashrda ashrda hri di bhi itte tat sarom maneva. All these kama desire sankalpa your will which gets a fear hri uh, your uh, shyness. then b your fear g your valor all these different or shraddha shraddha your faith and non faith all these are attributes of it's it's not attributes of mind they are mind the thought function of desire is called as desire that thought function in one form is called as desire a thought function in another form is called as a hatred so they are all thought function and thought function is mind therefore they are mind in this way it is established as one so atmanascha saprakasha jnana ananda rupatvasya shruti bihi bodhana and shruti also very clearly establishes self to be satyam jnana anantam here he says saprakasha so, self effulgent jnana knowledge and ananda plus so when the shruti very clearly establishes the self to be self effulgent knowledge and bliss then na kama kama adi ashreyam it cannot be uh, substratum for it cannot be locus for desire etc so desire etc cannot be attributes of self that is established atah vaisheshikadiyo bhrantya eva atmano vikaritam bhedam cha angikrutam ta ityartha how do vaisheshikas the logicians they accept that's because of the ignorance because of the erroneous knowledge we superimposed the attributes of mind in the self the attributes of the causal body is superimposed on the substratum self because of the ignorance the subtle body the super the attributes of the subtle body is superimposed on the substratum self because of the causal body which is ignorance that is the idea here that is why they have misunderstood the attributes of the subtle body to be the attributes of the self antakaranasya agama paitvat drushyatvacha nitya drugupatvat tvatto bhinnasya sukhadi janaka ye matras parshaha 
ते अपी अनित्या अनित्य रूपा अनियतो रूपा अंतकरण से आगमा पाए तो आती अंतकरण दे माइंड से आगमा पाए समथिंग विच कम्स एंड गोस विच इज क्रिएटेड एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड देयरफॉर दृश्यत्वाच एंड बिकॉज़ इट इज समथिंग विच इज ऑब्जेक्टिफाइड देयरफॉर चित नित्य नित्य दृग रूपत्वात त्वतः भिन्नस्य एंड यू आर द सीयर द ऑफ द माइंड इज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू आर द सीयर because you say my mind is not good now my mind is bad today all these ideas you have therefore tattah binnasya sukadi janaka ye matras parashah and therefore it is different from you who is eternal the mind is different from you and uh, for that mind ma uh, sukha janaka sukadi janaka that which creates this happiness etc which is matras parashah the sense organs and the sense object te api anitya they also are non eternal Anitya Rupa. Why they are called Anitya? Because they are not always behaving in the same way. See, when you have the object and your sense organs exist there, you should not see the object. When your mind is not focused, you don't see the object. When you are asleep, you don't see the object, though the object exists. Not just that he says, Ekada Sukha Janakasya Eva Shitoshna फॉलोइंगरी Everything, everything like this, sir. You cannot go on experiencing it. So, see those things. And sometimes the sukha transforms into the, uh, the dukkha transforms itself into sukha also. Some people who don't accept, who don't like something, when they are fed again and again the same thing, they start, they start enjoying it. Like some people who start hating bitter god, they start eating bitter god. Later at all, a uh, later point after. Some people who hate smoke. Once they become addicted, they start uh, smoking continuously, become chain smokers. We see these things. That thing which gave sukha, dukha becomes a object of sukha. That very thing which gave sukha becomes a object of dukha. Both we see. Therefore, evam kadachit dukha janakasya api anyada sukha janakatva darshnata. Something which is uh, giving sorrow later becomes a object of joy. We see this. Shitoshna. Uh, ग्रहणम आध्यात्मिक आदि भौतिक आदि दैविक सुख दुख उपलक्षणार्थम सी शीत उष्ण वी सेट हैपी सोरो एंड अगेन वी सेट कोल अंड हीट दि कोल अंड हीट शीत उष्ण सुख दुख कोल अंड हीट वै डिट वै डिट वी से दट इट इज अन उपलक्षण इट्स जस्ट अ इंप्लीकेशन फॉर ऑल दि अदर कैंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस मेनी देर आर थ्री कैंड ऑफ सोरो आध्यात्मिक आदि दैविक अनादि भौतिक Similarly, three kinds of happiness too. So, adhyatmika, adhyadhimika, adhyabhautika. Meaning, adhyatmika, the thing which had, takes place for the body or the mind, the problem which is for the body or mind, that very problem can become hap, uh, something uh, which turns to become ha- happiness or sorrow. See, there is a there is a problem. You uh, you have a you have a cut in your hand or something, and uh, you are asked to perform something. You do that job. See, I have cut. I cannot lift that. Okay, go, go, go. So that very thing, which is a object of pain, becomes an excuse to escape from another bigger problem. So it becomes object of joy. And Adi, Bhutika, the objects in the world, snake gives us fear. But some, for some, that very snake becomes an object of enjoyment because they start making it as a pet. They, 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 they have pets, pet snakes, etc. Now. And uh, Adi Devika, rain. Let us take that which takes that that which is because of God's rain. Now rain we don't act, uh, enjoy, but some people enjoy rain standing in rain. So that very object becomes a object of sorrow and object of uh, happiness. So therefore, Shitoshna Shukta is uh, just a point or two. All the other three, 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 all the three kinds of uh, happiness or sorrow. Shitosh Shitam. उष्णम च कदाचित सुखम कदाचित दुखम सुख दुखे तो न कदाचित अभी इपर ये तेरी प्रथम दर्शन सो शीतान उष्णा द कोल्ड एंड हीट विच वर वे वेदर यू एंजॉय इट और हीट इट विच वर वे 
it is going to be object of experience which is a happiness or sorrow it's going to produce happiness or sorrow when their end result is happiness or sorrow for heat and cold why do you have to say again he uh, happiness and sorrow oh sometimes heat sometimes become object of uh, happiness or object of sorrow cold sometimes becomes the same but uh, sorrow and happiness does not become a object of happiness and object of sorrow at different points of time happiness means sarvesham anukula vedaniyam sorrow means sarvesham pratikula vedaniyam that is how we define see something which is accepted to be conducive for everyone is happiness something which is non conducive for everyone is sorrow everyone accept it some to be non conducive that is sorrow so iti prasanna that is why it is separately said तथा च अत्यंत अस्थिरान त्वत् भिन्नस्य विकारिनः सो देयरफॉर दीस ट्रांसमिशंस व्हिच आर कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम यू दे आर कंप्लीटली दे आर थिंग्स व्हिच आर कंप्लीटली ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग ऑलवेज ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग व्हिच आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम यू देयरफॉर दोस ट्रांसमिशंस सुख दुखादि प्रदान दैट व्हिच गिव्स हैप्पीनेस और सॉरो भीष्म भीष्मादि संयोग वियोग रूपान मीनिंग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स भीष्म एक्सेट्रा एसोसिएशन एंड डिसोसिएशन फ्रॉम दीस पीपल दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ भीष्म एक्सेट्रा मात्रा स्पर्शाः दे आर रेफर्ड टू अस मात्रा स्पर्शाः दे आर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस फॉर योर सेंस ऑर्गन्स देयरफॉर त्वम तिदिक्षस्व देयरफॉर यू फॉरबियर तिदिक्षस्व मीन्स न एते मम किञ्चित् कराह इति वेकेन उपेक्षस्व जस्ट गिव अप ऑन दोस थिंग्स दोस अटॅचमेंट्स लाइक बाय हैविंग दिस डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दैट दीस थिंग्स डोंट कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग टू मी दीस थिंग्स कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग टू मी विद दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग गिव योर अटॅचमेंट गिव अप योर अटॅचमेंट टू देम और हेटरेड टू देम दुखित्वाद आत्मा अध्यासेन आत्मानं दुखिनं मा ज्ञासि इत्यर्थ सी व्हाट डस दैट मीन उपेक्षस्व मीन टू गिव अप मीन ही सेस दुखितादात्म्य अध्यासेन बिकॉज़ ऑफ द आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द दुख एक्सेट्रा सॉरो एक्सेट्रा यू बिकम सॉरोफुल एंड देयरफॉर यू सी योरसेल्फ टू बी एक्सपीरियंस योरसेल्फ टू बी sorrow not experiencing sorrow you experience yourself to be sorrow i am sorrow not i am experiencing sorrow in that way don't identify yourself with sorrow kaunteya bharate iti sambodhana dvayena ubhaya kula vishuddhasya tava ajnanam anuchitam iti suchiti see he is referring him to arjuna with two words one is kaunteya the other is bharata kunti putra you are son of kunti meaning such a great lady who because of her great penance gave birth to you so this one bharata means you are a seer of bharata the great tradition so because you come from these two great traditions of being son of kunti and of seer of bharata therefore sambodhana to and with these two uh, occasions what does he say उभय कुल विशुद्ध यू आर प्यूर इन बोथ दि ट्रेडिशन यू आर प्यूरीफाइड बिकॉज यू फॉल इन बोथ दिस ट्रेडिशन ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन देर फोर तव दट कैंड ऑफ यू फॉर यू अज्ञान अनुचित दिस इग्नोरेन्स इज नॉट स्यूटिंग दिस इग्नोरेन्स डस् नॉट स्यूट यू बिकॉज यू यू आर फ्रॉम दट कैंड ऑफ अ ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन दिस इज इंप्लाइड सूचयती सूचयती दट इज इंप्लाइड हियर दट्स ऑल ओके विल सी ओम पूर्णमत पूर्णमत पूर्णा पूर्णमुच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवाविष्यते ओम शांति शांति शांति